is it possible to do the burr strategy out of state right pretty much everybody in california is wondering that because y'all want to do the burr strategy but you don't want to do it in california you want to go out of state because california is friggin nuts so you're trying to go out of state but you're like i don't want to buy turnkey i'd rather do the burr strategy can it be done out of state yeah dog it totally can and i'm actually going to do it right here right now for my man larry who is from San Jose, California. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you. I'm here to help you make some money, right? We're going to make some money. This property, my team will handle all the management for you, all the renovation, all the construction, anything. That's why people from all over the good old U.S. of A. come here to Holton Wise. Now, this particular one, in my opinion, is going to work well as a bird deal, right? Buy renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, okay? But here's the cool thing, right? Typically, when you do a Burr deal, the properties are so distressed, you have to buy cash, and then you get all your cash back. But for those of you that don't have all of the cash just sitting around, something like this would work, right? Because this is a property that's actually in pretty good shape already. It just has some cosmetic defects, and I think it's being sold for like a really low price, right? Uh, the purchase price or the asking price is 124900 Now, uh, first, let's go over the area, right? It's 2264 Garfield Boulevard, Lorraine, Ohio. Now, Lorraine, Ohio, this is in the Cleveland market. It's about a half hour west. This is a very nice area. I like it. A couple reasons. One, I think it's actually more landlord-friendly than the city of Cleveland itself, right? Two... You don't have to deal with the new lead paint regulations in the city of Cleveland, right? Uh, so that kind of ties into one. That's why I'm more landlord-friendly. If you guys are out there trying to invest in Cleveland and you haven't heard about these lead paint regulations, uh, check out a video I did below. Uh, that'll help you understand what's going on there. Don't have to worry about it with this property. And then lastly, there are two new naval bases being built over here, right? That's going to add like three or four, three or five, three to 5,000 jobs. All reasons I feel like this particular property is going to be really cool. Now, it's like a high C, low B neighborhood. We got tons of rentals over there. These are the kind of areas that I like for investors, right? Could work with cash paying tenants, also good for Section 8 tenants, okay? So, solid neighborhood. Now, here's the thing. They're asking 124 9 We're going to try to get a little discount off of that. We're going to try to buy it at 115 And I believe we'll be able to get the ARV up to about 150 okay? But you have to understand something. Like right now, when I would sell properties, uh, if this had tenants in there or things of that nature is already basically rent ready, 150 easy to sell this sucker for 150 uh, So that's tr the true value. But if we're going to do a burr, right, and you're pulling the money, you're doing the refinance really quickly after uh, the purchase, you have to understand appraisers are human beings, just like you, just like me. They are going to look at things and they're probably going to be skewed a little bit based on your purchase price because what we're doing to it we're not really changing anything really we're just doing some cosmetic touch-ups right here's what we got it is a side-by-side -side, which by the way at any point in time if you're trying to buy a duplex and you have the opportunity to buy a side-by-side -side, even if you got to pay a premium you freaking pay it folks the side-by-side -side is much better than the up down the thing is in this market up downs are like 95 percent of the duplexes so these side by sides are rare you get tenants who stay longer and typically pay more in rent now this unit right here right this is the owner's unit this is an owner occupant okay he lives in one half and by the way uh, according to the listing agent you gotta let him live there for two weeks after you close okay he ain't gonna pay you no rent either you just got to do it that's not a big deal kind of stuff's normal all right the fact that we have no issue doing that as investors that kind of makes our offer stand out amongst the others so we're not going to do nothing major to his unit but we're just going to have to freshen it up repaint it things of that nature right so that's why i'm saying the appraiser is probably going to look heavily at our purchase price because all we really are going to do is like paint it and freshen it up and stuff right and then the other unit uh is just going to need a freshen up as well right we're not doing anything major here so 
Like, it's just literally cosmetic stuff. But you see, tenants aren't going to go and rent it right now. Like, over here. Like, this is a prime example. Like, here you go. Right here. See this? Like, you can't just, like, be like, yo, tenant, you want to rent this? And they're like, well, what the hell is that, bro? Uh, so it's just, like, minor stuff that we got to do, right? Like, in the kitchen, it looks like it's from the 70s. And then you got the spackle right here. Like, no big deal. We're not, like, doing anything crazy to, quote, unquote, add value. But we got to put tenants in there. And we got to give them a crisp place to live, okay? So... What I'm trying to tell you is, like, if we had tenants already in the property, I'd be like, yo, you got to pay, like, 150 155 to buy this thing, right? So that's, like, true value. But when we do do the refinance, I feel like uh, the appraiser is going to be like, whoa, you bought it for 115 What would you really do to it? So he may give you kind of a crummy appraisal if you do the appraisal, like, further out from when you actually purchased it. The further out you go, like, six months, seven months, eight months, nine months – the less and less he'll look at that uh, a purchase price from when you bought it, right? So if you try to do the refi like 30 days later, he's probably going to pay more attention to that. I'm just giving you guys, uh, you know, my level of experience, and this is just how the business works, right? It's an imperfect business. But the true value here, in my opinion, is 150 Now, when we go in, just do minor stuff, we're just about 20 k right? Just fixing up both units, cleaning up this or that, Maybe have a little bit of money uh, left over uh, to update the kitchen and bath a bit, right? Make it look fresh, right? So if we buy it at 115, put in 20, we're all in at 135. What that's going to bring us is two tenants paying 850 a month, 1700 a month total, 20,400 for the year. Factor in fixed and variable expense estimates. That's almost 10k for the year. Now this is where it gets good. This is where the burr is very nice. You're all in for 135. If we do get a favorable appraisal and it appraises at 115, that means the bank's going to kick you back 112. You only have 22 and a half tied up into the deal, and it's a 19% cash on cash return. That, folks, would be a banger. And then you have yourself a long term side by side ranch duplex. Folks, that's amazing. I cannot tell you how much more important it is to try to pick up the side by sides whenever they come around. Also, here's another little tip you might not know. When you got an up down duplex, the down always has less vacancy than the up. I don't know what it is. Some of these tenants just don't like steps. I mean, I guess if you think about it, right, you got to carry all your damn groceries up. I mean, that would kind of suck, right? So the down is better. Both of these are the down, folks. This is a great long-term investment. You want to be in this neighborhood. It's very landlord-friendly. This is why people are leaving expensive markets like California New York, right? The landlord-tenant laws over there suck. Much more favorable in areas like this. Cash on cash return speaks for itself, right? I just broke this down. You got to be all into the sucker for like 22 Gs, and you're making like a 19% cash on cash. And here's the cool thing. If you're somebody that doesn't have all the cash up front to do that and burr it, you don't even have to burr it. Just go ahead and buy it with your financing up front and then drop the 20K into it after the fact. Okay? Long term, you have a little bit more money tied up into it, but you didn't have to do it all at once. Anyway, you slice it. This is an awesome deal. And I think the fact that uh, both units look scuzzy, uh, you have to let the dude live there for two weeks. That could potentially throw some buyers off, and we got the opportunity to pick it up at maybe 115. If we got it at 115, I would be very happy. I think that would be a home run for you. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.